pretty awesome today and adopted a newborn raccoon. When I was a teenager, I had a pet raccoon and I talked to a lot of people and I talked to some vets and I did a lot of research and raccoons can make a really good pet. They kind of are in between a dog and a cat, but it's really hard to find them. And when I got my raccoon when I was a teenager, it was about four months old. So its eyes were already open and it was too old to really make a really good pet. It was still, it was a little wild. And I've never actually gotten one that was a super newborn baby. Well, I got a call today from someone who had a raccoon up in their attic, I think, and their boyfriend or landlord or somebody killed the raccoon and there was uh, babies up there. So they needed someone to take um, one of the babies and I definitely jumped on the opportunity. I, If you guys know me, you know that I love animals, all kinds of animals. I foster animals all the time, but I've been wanting a raccoon for a long time. So I decided to do a daily video vlog of um, raising a raccoon from the newborn stage. So this raccoon here, um, that I have, he is about, it is a boy. He's about a week, maybe two weeks old. His eyes are still closed. He is a tiny, uh, pretty much like a newborn baby. When raccoons are babies, they are just like human babies. They, you have to feed them every two to three hours. You have to constantly be with them and it's, it's, they're kind of hard to raise, so I thought it would be fun and cool to do a vlog, uh, a daily vlog on raising the raccoon. So, um, this guy, he's hasn't been sleeping good, but he fell asleep a few hours ago, and he has been sleeping. Um, he, it's time for his feeding, so I gotta wake him up and feed him, but let's get him up and get him out. He's been sleeping for a little while now. Come here. All right. This is, um, we haven't decided 100% on a name yet for him, but I think we're gonna go with Miko. Miko is the name from the pet raccoon in Pocahontas, of course. And <laughs> um, he is so sweet. But when you have uh, raccoons this age, you also have to stimulate them uh, so they can pee and uh, poop. So you have to stimulate them to go to the bathroom. Also, they can't even go to the bathroom on their own. It looks like he's, he must be exhausted and he's not wanting to wake up, but he has got to eat. Come on. Here we go. He's awake now. He's starting to wake up. And they scream a lot when they're when they're newborns and they're especially when they're hungry, they will scream forever like a baby until you feed it. But I've heard a lot about giving Pedialyte to baby raccoons and that that's fine, but the research that I have done is you only have to give them Pedialyte if their skin is like stuck. And when you move their skin, it doesn't move very well, which means they're dehydrated. But if they're drinking um, and eating fine, then you don't have to give them the Pedialyte. And what you want to give them is a kitten milk replacement. Um, I've looked up giving your own, um, but that's 
hard uh, to make and it, it says to use uh, raw eggs and they're not supposed to have raw eggs so two tablespoons each feeding that's something that took me a while to figure out I was I didn't know how much to give them because raccoons if you overfeed raccoons they will eat but if you overfeed baby raccoons they'll die so I'm really concerned about giving them too much so the research I've done is um, to feed them every two to three hours and to give them one to two tablespoons and then, of course, they, you have to burp them also like a baby, so. So if the milk is not as warm as they want it, they won't drink it either. So I'll try to warm up the milk. Um, I I just put the bottle in some warm water and um, warm it up that way because you don't want to put it in the microwave or get hot spots in it and burn them. And you don't want to put bottles and plastic in the microwave anyway. Okay, guys, we're back. I warmed up the bottle. Let's see if that was the issue here. Oh yeah, that was the issue. Okay. He's looking for more. All right. So after we feed him, we're going to eh, stimulate him. And um, you just take a Q-tip and you get warm water on it. And um, you have to rub it on his penis and his um, butthole. <laughs> and that... Um, what the mother does is she licks it, she uses her tongue, so you have to kind of make that same motion, and that will uh, help them go to the bathroom. So we'll do that, and, well, and then after that, we'll try to get some sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and keep you updated on how Miko is doing. I think we're going to go with Miko. We also thought about Gizmo, too, and Ozzy. But I think I'm probably going to go with Miko. I'm a big Disney fan. <laughs> Are 
Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.